I am back and I know I took such a long break from YouTube and I am so sorry about that. It's just life sometimes catches up with you and I really feel like sometimes you need to step back away from everything and just focus on life and that's kind of what happened after postseason. A lot of stuff started happening. Um, I kind of got married. <laughs> I mean, you guys do all the cage ready, right? <laughs> but I am officially married. I am officially Mrs. Correa. <laughs> I guess I can take this off now. I want to talk to you guys about my wedding and everything that I kind of went through, um, what I learned, my experience, advice that I want to give you guys. Yes, that's still my wedding dress chilling in the back. Need to put that away. I ordered a box on Amazon. It's coming. Um, but I figured what is the best time to do it now that we are all in quarantine or in self-quarantine like us. I know we are going through very, very hard times. Um, and I just want to be here for you guys. I want to share a lot of stories with you guys, just do fun things. And I promise I'm going to try to keep making as many videos as possible, like the way I was doing it when I first started YouTube. Um, I really have missed it, like I said, and I really have missed you guys. Anyways, story time. As many of you guys know, or the people that follow us on Instagram know that we actually got married um, by court November 11th, 2019. <laughs> we did that just because obviously we were gonna get married in Dominican Republic. We wanted to just get it squared away. Didn't really want to have to be dealing with getting the paperwork fixed, coming back. Very intimate for us. It was just uh, my parents and his parents, his little sister. It was something very small and that's kind of like the way we wanted it to be, something very personal. And from that day forward, it was still kind of weird because after that I was like, I am married. Like, I am officially married. Just saying, this is my husband is beyond me. Like, I just still can't realize. Even when I first went from boyfriend to fiance, I was, it was weird for me. So, going from fiance to husband was even weirder for me. Like, I am someone's wife. I am a mature adult now, and I am a wife. Even when we got married by the court, there was still so much things to do afterwards because we still had our big celebration wedding coming up in Dominican Republic. We actually got married at the Hard Rock Hotel in Punta Cana. So much fun, by the way. Before I get into that, that was so much fun. My husband had one job. One job only is make sure that the groomsmen have their suits and make sure that he had a suit. That was his only job. Tell the guys where to go, tell the guys what to do, you pick the colors, do that. I want to say it was like probably two months before the wedding, maybe even less. And he still did not know what they were wearing. Oh my God. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to freak out about that. I'm going to let you handle it. I don't care. I, like low key, I really cared, but I was trying like not to care. He got it figured out. The guys ended up looking real sharp, real nice. Thanks to, I really wanted to have like an outfit change. I wanted to of course have my gown, but then I really wanted to change into something more comfortable that I could dance in um, the entire night and not feel like I had something really heavy on. So I had an idea that I really wanted to do and I wanted to wear a jumpsuit afterwards. I was gonna go and change, like low key, not tell anybody. Carlos didn't even know about it. I was gonna change into it and then pop out, like bam. I got a brand new outfit. So I got that outfit made from someone in my hometown. I received it. Did not even try it on, y'all. I did not try this on until the day of the wedding and not even before the wedding. No, when it was time for outfit change, I was trying that thing on for the first time and thank God it fit like a glove because I really don't know what I would have done. That would have been really funny and I guess I would have been in my gown for the rest of the night. And my friends and my bridesmaids were like, are you crazy, try it on? I was like, I'll be fine. So I wanted my wedding to be fun. 
that was my biggest thing. I, I really didn't care about, um, of course I wanted to have a beautiful wedding, but I didn't really want to stress about little things. I just wanted to be able to go and have a great time. I honestly felt like I was pretty chill throughout the whole time. One of my bridesmaids was like, you are the chillest bride I have ever seen. Things were going wrong. I tried not to stress out about it. Of course, there was times where I was like, what is happening? Like room situations and stuff like that. But for the most part, I was just trying to be super like chill about everything. Something didn't go right, whatever. There's a reason why it didn't happen. Um, the night before our wedding, of course, we were supposed to be getting our beauty sleep and you know, getting ready for the big day. So we had a really big like villa. So we decided to do girls on one side and boys on the other side. We were not gonna see each other, of course, for the rest of the night, um, cause that was it. See you when I'm walking down the aisle. As we're getting ready, I get a call from Carlos and he's like, hey, are you guys down to go running into the ocean? Immediately I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I am not passing out on this. I told all the girls to change into shorts, whatever they had, and we all went sprinting into the ocean. We were getting wet, it was so much fun. And keep in mind, this was already like at 1 a.m. So we were in the water and we were jumping and, and we ended up in the pool of the hotel, trying to be real quiet because I know that's like against the rules. And then we go back to the room. My hair size had told me, don't wash your hair. Keep it like, you know, I had already had hairspray and stuff. I had to wash my hair because it was full of salt, water, and sand. So again, this is probably like at 2 a.m. now. This was, it was getting late. Then okay, we're like, hey, let's go to sleep. Order room service, of course. We're like, okay, let's go to sleep. Then the guys decide that it's so funny to start scaring us. Then all of a sudden this becomes like a water battle and we're all throwing water at each other from one side of the room to the other side of the building. It was so insane. We didn't go to bed till probably like 3.30, 4 a.m. The day before the wedding. <laughs> but you know what, I was like, these are moments that we are always gonna look back at and laugh and I am totally not ever gonna regret doing this. I finally end up going to bed. And we wake up and it's the day of the wedding, you know, we're doing hair and makeup and all that went so smooth. The boys were running like 30 minutes late. Not the girls, the boys are running 30 minutes late. I remember walking down the aisle, side note, I realized that my heel caught to the back of my dress. So every step that I was taking, I was bringing in my dress. So I had to kind of nudge my dad back like, hey, let's slow this down. We can't go too fast or I'm gonna fall. But I remember walking down and just seeing Carlos at the end. And it was one of those things where I was like, everything that I have gone through in my life, every decision that I have made has brought me to this moment of walking down the aisle and seeing the love of my life there. It was one of the most incredible feelings and surreal moments that I had and I get like watery I just thinking about it but it was such a good feeling just walking down and seeing him and knowing that we are in this together for the rest of our lives you know we are we are one person now um, it was a great feeling and just seeing like my mom there and my grandma passed away when I was younger so I wanted to wear something from hers and she had a ring that had her name on it and so I was wearing it on my thumb because she had really big fingers <laughs> so it didn't fit my my regular fingers so I put it on my thumb um, but yeah I, I know she was with me at the moment and my bouquet was actually my grandpa's favorite flowers so I had you know, both of them with me at the moment. That was something really, really special for me. Being there with Carlos and you can see all my videos and pictures that I had the biggest smile ever. Everything that, all the stress that we had gone through, everything that we had gone through to plan this wedding, we were there and I was so happy and the weather was perfect. Thank you God. The weather was so perfect that day. Just. Everything came together that day so perfectly. Oh, and another thing, my throat was killing me the day of the wedding. It was hurting me so bad, but I was not letting it affect me. So you see the videos of me singing at our reception, and I am lip singing everything. It sounds like I am like, yeah, yeah, and I am not, I'm like, <laughs> because I couldn't like, my throat was like hurting so bad. But that was not stopping. We were throwing back shots. <laughs> like there was no tomorrow. It was it was so much fun. 
that day I'm telling you was probably one of the best days of my entire life. It was so much fun and just watching our family and friends have fun was the cherry on top of everything because that's all I wanted. All I wanted was for people to have fun at our wedding. Yes, my husband did lose his wedding band the night of our wedding. We're heading back to the room. He decides, I'm gonna go hang out by the pool real quick. Like, just we're gonna jump in the pool with his brother and one of his friends. And I'm like, let's go to the room. Like, it's late already. And he's like, it'll be like less than five minutes. I'm like, fine, go. <laughs> he does not even take more than five minutes. He comes back to the room. The next morning, he wakes up and he's like, where's my wedding band? And I'm like, excuse me, I don't have your wedding band. Why would I have your wedding band? He's like, I gave it to you last night. I'm like, no, you did not. So I keep saying that when he went, they jumped in the pool, it must have slipped off his finger or something. I don't know, but we never found his wedding band. RIP, I was a little mad. I'm not gonna lie. That was like the only thing that really irked me <laughs> about the entire week that we spent there. I was like, are you kidding me? You lost your wedding man the night of the wedding, but oh well. All right, for those of you all that wanna get married or plan on getting married, my biggest advice, and you'll hear it many times, is try not to stress out. Um, many things are gonna go wrong when you plan a wedding and when you're at the wedding, but the best thing to do is brush it off. It's so hard not to give into it and not get upset, but you really have to. You have to act like it all happens for a reason because it does. Music, the music makes the wedding, you want to make sure that people have fun at your wedding because of course you want to have fun at your own wedding, of course, but it's always fun seeing your family and friends smile and dance and, and just sing to the music. So focus on the music. That's a big part. DJs are great. Um, and like I said, just have fun with it. Be there in the moment. At the end of the day, you need to realize that the ceremony is fun, but all of it has a bigger meaning. A husband and a wife coming together and your family and friends coming together and becoming one big happy family. <laughs> That's really all it is. It's just knowing that you are gonna be with this person for the rest of your lives and a party should not be too much stress on someone when there's a bigger meaning behind it, which is love. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, giving you a little sneak peek of what happened the day of our wedding um, and what we did in Dominican Republic. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm gonna continue to try to make many more videos for you guys, to join you guys, so you guys can watch at home while we're stuck at home in this quarantine. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like my video. And if you guys wanna see any videos, please comment below about what you wanna see Carl's and I do, anything fun to keep us busy during this quarantine. Bye guys.